All right, so your minds are made up. You wanna make a move to Lower Alabama and you decided on the Eastern Shore. But you need to know if Spanish Fort is the right choice for you. After all, you've got a few options to choose from. Yeah, you might be on the fence between Daphne or Spanish Fort and you figured out from watching our informative videos, of course, that Daphne is actually where all the shopping is and you don't really want to be in the heart of all that commotion. So you're finding yourself leaning a little bit towards Spanish Fort, but you're still just a little bit unsure. So to help y'all get a better idea on what to expect, we're going to tell you what living in Spanish Fort is like and everything else you need to know starting with its proximity to Mobile and Pensacola, Florida. But first, we'll let y'all know who we are. Good call. I'm Tony, and this is my wife and my business partner, Jess, and we are the number one relocation team in all of Lower Alabama. That's right, we're your local real estate experts right here in Baldwin County, so let us give you a preview of what living here is gonna be like. We're gonna talk housing, the community, and overall location, and a lot more. Now let's dive into location. So Spanish Fort is on the Mobile Bay and a lot of our clients choose this little hidden gem because you can jump on the causeway or the bayway and be in downtown Mobile within about 20 minutes or so. Not only that, but you're right above Daphne and right below Bay Manette and you're right next to I-10, which is great if you're having to commute to just about anywhere. Yeah, I-10 will take you over to Loxley, Pensacola if you're going that way, uh, over to 59 where you can shoot on down to the beautiful sandy white beaches in Orange Beach and Gulf Shores. Or shopping in Foley. <laughs> Can't forget that. Of course, Jess is gonna bring up shopping when we're talking about <laughs> locations here and you know proximities to everything. Of course I am. I'm only helping our clients because everyone needs to know all of these things. Thank you very much. Shopping is our greatest skill. Five, six, seven, eight. All right, I'll get rid of that one. <laughs> and along with location comes housing. Um, so we're gonna talk current home prices and available inventory. Those are all things that you need to be aware of before considering this area. And I think they should also know if this is a competitive housing market because all this information is helpful to know in order to prepare yourself. So I'm going to start off with saying yes, the market in Spanish Fort can be very competitive. It all depends though. Just think about it. Baldwin County is the fastest growing county in Alabama and one of the fastest in the entire country. So there's obviously some major appeal to this area. So it's no surprise you're gonna run into competition when nope. you're out there house hunting. You'll literally see a house on the market that's available today and tomorrow morning it will be gone. It'll show pending under contract. You snooze, you lose. So we're just keeping it real with y'all. I mean, it is a steadily growing community that's for sure. And with a population of 11,000 and the median home price right around 385,000, I'd say it's pretty hot. Even though you're looking at the average days on market that are you know, still sitting around 50 days. Yeah, okay, but remember that days on market that Tony just mentioned, it's just an average. Desirable homes and modestly priced move-in ready homes, those get snatched up really, really fast. Really quick. An example for y'all, a three bed, three bath home in Spanish Fort, uh, say a half acre close to it, um, that's going for 350,000, that's dated, but well-maintained, move-in ready, has no HOA, something like that can and will be gone in 24 hours easily. Gone, poof. <laughs> and those are moving ready, gold fortified, updated homes going for 450,000. Those are a hot commodity too. So definitely expect some competition if you're looking for something like that. Uh, I mean, anything what we just described really. Because the reality is people are lining up for homes within that criteria and it can make getting an offer accepted kind of a challenge. Big time. We have a lot of clients who've been able to beat other buyers by offering over asking, um, going as is, or even an appraisal gap. There's definitely some things that we can do to make your offer stand out amongst the rest when it comes to properties that will no doubt have multiple offers. But anyways, we're just sharing this with you all so that you understand what the Spanish Fort housing market 
market is actually like. Yeah, and we understand everybody is different, so it just depends. Bottom line for houses is you're looking at a highly desirable area on the Eastern Shore, and so is everyone else. Inventory is lower than normal here, just like everywhere else. I mean, the entire country is experiencing a housing shortage, and there is good news, but some of the locals aren't happy about it. And the good news, in my opinion, is that Spanish Fort has a good bit of new construction available. DR Horton has some really great communities with amazing amenities. I mean, they also bought out Trulin Homes and have some pretty stunning homes for sale. So if you don't want to face as much competition, you have the new build options as well. This is true, but let's move on and talk more about the community feel in Spanish Fort. You're definitely gonna get all of those warm, small town vibes here. After all, it is the smallest on the Eastern Shore, so expect to run into familiar faces at the grocery store. Um, you're gonna run into your kids' school teachers at church, um, the dollar store, you're gonna run into neighbors, local coffee shop, and so on. Yeah and a lot of southern hospitality. Spanish Fort is small, but I like to say small but mighty. I mean, it has some of the nicest subdivisions I've ever seen with large lots and some of the most beautiful scenery you'd ever imagine. I like to say, just think like Jurassic Park, like style trees, just huge. Yeah, lots of greenery. <laughs> yeah. And the shopping here really doesn't disappoint. Yes, I mentioned shopping again. Um, just about everything you need is here. You've got Belk, Dillard's, uh, Bath and Body Works, Case and Point. She's back on shopping again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie though, I do like to get out the house and Spanish Fort has bowling alley. So we'll let this one slide. Yeah, okay. You can always find Tony at the Bowling Alley, which is located next to all of that great shopping that I just mentioned. So it's a win-win. I'm always down to go bowling with Tony as long as we can pop into the Old Navy that's right next door. 99% <laughs> of the time, just just wants to go bowling too. So don't try to act like it's just me. Oh, and this is one of the only areas in Baldwin County that actually has a bowling alley besides Foley. And for the sake of always being honest with y'all, I'm personally more of a fan of the bowling lanes that are over in Foley. Yeah, but to me, the Spanish Fort one is bigger and they have an arcade and billiards. So they have a selection of different things to do that I just, I don't know. I think Foley's is okay. Yeah, I mean, they do. And we definitely frequent the Spanish Fort Bowl more than Foley, but I really, really like the vibes of the Foley one. But anyways, I'm sure you're all thinking with all that shopping and bowling and all this fun stuff to do, is Spanish Fort really as small as we say it is? And yes, yes it is. Absolutely. It is a total small town with all the feels. Everyone knows everyone and offers a friendly wave when you drive past or a nod and a hello when you're at the grocery store. You'll quickly make friends with all of your neighbors and um, 100%. the majority of homes are gonna be just north of I-10 where it's gonna be super picturesque and wooded with Tony's Jurassic Park trees. You're gonna <laughs> find winding roads that are tunneling through the forest and it's just super green and so pretty. All the shopping and entertainment we speak of, the mall, the movie theater, I mean Bass Pro Shop, it's all right off the highway. So people from all the surrounding towns definitely come to Spanish Fort for their shopping and their entertainment needs. Spanish Fort is a quiet town. The sidewalks roll up really early. Um, the community supports the school events and high school football is definitely a way of life here. That's a fact. Everyone goes to the games, even if you don't have kids playing. Speaking of schools, they've recently opened up another elementary to support the growing community here. And according to the census figures, Spanish Fort's population grew 48% wow. during the last decade. Yeah, that's a lot. That's some major growth for our little Baldwin County. It's really a beautiful place to live, so I'm not the least bit surprised. If you look at Spanish Fort on the map and see the close proximity to Mobile Bay, um, you've got the Tensaw River, Blakely River, and of course, Blakely State Park. Um, you may choose to live here just for that reason alone. If you enjoy the outdoors, that is. Right, if you can't get enough of our beautiful nature, then, then this is an ideal location. You can hike the forest, you can go kayaking, um, boating, fishing, hunting. There's never a dull moment living here. Yeah, and if you're an active person, this is just a great place to live where you'll have endless access to the great outdoors like Jess just mentioned. But let's pull up the map 
and check out how close Spanish Fort is really to the Mobile Bay and the Gulf of Mexico. I mean, look at this. You have beaches that are 15 minutes away that have beautiful sunsets and where you can just go kayaking, but you also have the beautiful white sandy beaches and emerald green waters that are just 45 miles away down in Orange Beach and Gulf Shores. Which is about an hour drive, so if you're single or retired, then this could be a daily thing for you. You have the beach at your disposal to enjoy every single day. How come it's only if they're retired or single? Huh, Jess? <laughs> yeah, I promise you there's no way <laughs> I'm driving with a baby and two whiny teenagers back and forth every single day to the beach, uh -huh. and you wouldn't either. No, no. <laughs> I think the high schooler is worse than the baby. <laughs> <laughs> I really wouldn't do that, but... On the weekends, it isn't that bad. It's actually kind of relaxing, and if you think you could come here and relax a little bit too, then make sure you give the number one relocation team in all of Lower Alabama a call. That's right, we're the local experts, so feel free to give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email, watch our videos, and seriously call us, y'all. It's our job to help you find the perfect house down here in Lower Alabama. See you on the next video.